All right, we're here with Nina Indez, the voice of Benedicta Harmon from Final Fantasy 16. And today I'd just love to sit down, talk with you, ask a couple of questions and really get excited for the launch of the game. Absolutely. Are you able to speak about what your character is like? What was it like to get inside her mind and okay. get into character? The thing with video games, uh, very often it's very strict NDAs. Um, and even us, the, the voice actors, are being given very little information about the game. So uh, for a long time, I actually didn't know what game I was recording until in the session they were like, you know, this is Final Fantasy, by the way. And I was like, oh, oh really? No, I actually didn't know that. Um, but um, before I started, I was given some background information about Benedicta and this is the stuff that I probably can't dive too much into because it might be spoilers, but her uh, background and her story history is so incredible, everything that she's been through. Um, so it was, yeah, it was really fun and interesting to dive into her world as much as I'm trying to, you know, uh, act her as authentically as possible and draw upon my own experiences. You know, I don't live in a fantasy world, so a lot of my own imagination had to kind of come into into play as well. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Kind of going off of that, without going into spoilers, of course, could you speak about one of the most challenging times that you had recording as Benedicta? One of the most challenging times. Um, <laughs> I mean, there were a lot of challenging times. I think her arc is so, yeah, it's, it's difficult to wrap your, your brain around what she goes through. So the thing with, for me is, I find the very heightened and emotional scenes quite easy. Uh, which, yeah, very often it's the opposite yeah. for actors. Like, it's, you know, it's tough to, to get those emotions out. But for me, it's the opposite. For me, I find it quite easy to dive into the very kind of impactful emotional scenes. But what's tough, tougher for me is like the very mundane, like normal dialogue that has all the names, all of the kind of specific information that needs to come across. To me, that's harder, actually. So I think just some of her lengthy dialogue was probably, those were the most challenging sessions for me. I know that you talked about the fact that throughout the audition process, you didn't really know what game you were getting the role for, but can you speak about what the process was like for you for auditioning? How did you come to find out about the role and stuff like that? Yeah. I had, I remember my audition so fondly. Um, it was, so yeah, again, I think I got the script like a day before or something like that. They were obviously using code names for the characters and the scenes were quite similar, but rewritten in a way. So they were, you were playing out the same scenarios, but it was like different dialogue uh, and I just didn't know what to expect. Walked into the room um, and I think one of the first scenes I had to do was like a very impactful kind of emotional scene. I was like, well, here we go. Let's just, let's just go for it. And um, I had so much fun. I felt like I immediately connected with her um, and uh, this was actually so funny. This was the first audition I got an applause for That's when amazing. I finished. Yeah. It's like usually you go into the room and they're like, okay, thank you for coming, <laughs> bye. But this time it was like, I th it, it was such an amazing um, energy in the room. And so I remember walking out feeling quite good. I was like, hmm, <laughs> yeah, I think it went well. Um, but yeah, the audition process was amazing and um, it was amazing after that as well. Was there any time throughout the recording process where you were given an opportunity to kind of improvise? Yeah, but 
I didn't feel the need to improvise that much with this. I think the scripts are so well written and they're also written in a way that allows you to explore as, as an actor. So there was never one way of delivering a line or delivering a scene. Um, so in a way I felt like I could improvise but with different deliveries of of the scene. I actually didn't want to improvise lines or change things because it just didn't need it. Um, and I just felt connected to the, to the script that I was given. Was there at any point in time recording as Benedicta that you felt like you related to her? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. many times. I think f I try to relate to everything that she goes through. You know, even when she's summon summoning Garuda powers, like, of course, I can't really, in real life, I can't relate to that. Yeah. But, but there's always something that I can draw upon from my experience in life and also just my imagination. I always want to be able to give the most authentic performance, whether you're living in a, you know, your character is living in a huge fantasy world Every character is real, um, so authenticity is very important. Um, yeah, so I would just dive into myself, I guess, and um, see what I could take from from my spectrum of emotions and, and uh, experiences. I'd love to just ask a couple quick questions. Mm -hmm. um, what does Final Fantasy mean to you? Final Fantasy, m to me, means escapism. I think it's such a, an incredible, epic world, like fantastical with <sighs> acons and amazing characters and uh, yeah, just an amazing world. Um, so to me, I think it means escapism. It's definitely a place you can kind of forget your normal life and just dive into, <laughs> yeah, dive into this. So. How excited are you for the launch? I mean, so excited, so excited. I'm buzzing just sitting here with you right now. <laughs> so yeah, very, very, very excited. Lastly, what do you hope fans will feel once they play the game? Um, I hope that everyone feels this sense of awe as much as I felt that whilst I've been recording uh, the game, diving into the script and the story. Um, yeah, it is such an amazing story, such an amazing world. Uh, I was, you know, struck with awe all the time as I was exploring things and uh, w with my character. So I hope that people have this sense of awe when they when they play it. Thank you so much for taking the time today. We're really excited about the game and. I hope you enjoy the rest of your media tour. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah.